ISRO's GSLV Mark II has successfully placed communication satellite GSAT-6A into orbit. By doing this, ISRO has tested some critical systems that may eventually be used in the subsequent launches. This satellite is meant for the use of the Indian Army and it was decided that the satellite would not add any transporter capacity for general uses. This makes GSAT-6A different from the usual communication satellites. ISRO's rapidly building capacities are considered as a massive boost for the Indian Armed Forces and this particular satellite is supposed to enhance communication services for the Indian military. GSLV Mark II is the largest operational launch vehicle that India has developed and it is well known that ISRO has been mastering the technique of making home-made communication satellites. GSLV Mark II is a three-stage vehicle and it has four liquid strap-ons. GSLV F08 has a weight of 416 tons and it has a height of about 49 meters. According to the ISRO, it has two improvements, high thrust Vikas engine and electromechanical actuation system. ISRO is planning to launch its Chandrayaan-2 in October this year and the validation of the high thrust Vikas engine is a significant achievement. It is believed that the improved engine has the capacity to carry more weight. The GSAT 6A is actually the twin of the GSAT 6 and it is a S band communication satellite. One of the main features of the satellite is that it is able to provide mobile communication to India through multi beam coverage facility. ISRO expects that the lifespan of the GSAT 6A will be around 10 years. And surprisingly, the cost of the 2000 kg satellite is just about 40 million US dollars. Many Indians are emotionally connected with what ISRO does and what it achieves. The success story of the Indian Space Research Organization is very unique as its achievements are really big when you look at its budget. See you again.